Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA H for breaking up with my girlfriend after discovering her secret obsession with male strip shows. Jen 26F and I 28M have been dating exclusively for two years and have lived together for six months. We both got our computer science degrees in the same college town but didn't know each other back then. Jen is the quintessential cute nerd, big on video games and a massive Doctor Who fan. Jen has a good friend from college, Amber, with whom she hangs out every four to six weeks. They usually keep it low-key, like catching a movie or grabbing drinks, which often happens during the week. I never thought much of it because there was never any reason to. Plus, sometimes Jen comes home in the mood after these nights out. But other times, she texts saying she's crashing at Amber's place. A few nights ago, Jen and Amber had one of their girls' nights. Jen mentioned they would see a late movie and might grab some drinks afterward. Jen came home around 11 p.m., tipsy but not hammered, and she immediately initiated intimacy with me as soon as she walked in. We had a great time until she fell asleep around 1 a.m. When I went to turn off the light, I noticed a notification on her phone for a QR code ticket to something called Men in Motion. I looked it up, it's a traveling show with male strippers. The ticket was for that night. Jen and I don't have a policy of checking each other's phones, but I knew her password and was curious. I checked her Eventbrite app and found she's been to many of these shows. I also discovered a folder with over a hundred photos of her with male dancers and very little clothing. I'm struggling with the fact that Jen seems to enjoy watching male strippers and has been keeping this from me, I feel inadequate and uneasy. While there's no concrete proof she's cheated, there were two nights she didn't come home that line up with these shows, yeah I have a good memory. It makes me wonder if there's more going on. I've always trusted Jen and don't want to accuse her of anything without solid evidence. How should I bring this up without making her feel I don't trust her? And how do I handle this gnawing feeling that something else might be happening? I knew I had to talk to Jen. At home Thursday evening I told her I saw the ticket on her phone the night of the show and asked her why she lied to me that she was going to the movies. Initially taken aback and defensive, she apologized for not being upfront. She said she and Amber considered it a fun and even silly girls night activity. Jen admitted she kept it quiet from me because she wasn't sure how I would react and didn't want to make things awkward between us by even asking. It was just something fun and naughty. She admitted that this was not her first time attending a show like this, but she couldn't remember how many times in the past. Jen also said something I never thought of. She felt safe going to these shows, as it was an all women environment, compared to bars and clubs where guys get drunk and hit on women. She reassured me that these shows were just for having fun and not about any dissatisfaction with our relationship. She said at least three times that she found me attractive and was very satisfied with our sex life. She even said that if it would help me process things, she and I could go to a club with female dancers. Neither of us had ever been to a strip club with female dancers, but I thought it would be similar. I could see that it was just naughty fun, and we could experience it together. After hours of talking, she grabbed my hand and took me to the bedroom to assure me that I am still the hottest man in her life. The next day, I was satisfied with her explanation. Jen didn't tell me how often she had gone to these shows, but I chalked it up to her being embarrassed at me finding out and not wanting to hurt me anymore. I also didn't ask about the pictures, I didn't want her to know that I had looked at her phone and there really wasn't any smoking gun evidence of infidelity. But the next day something still felt off. Maybe I am just questioning myself and my naivety up until this point. So I reached out to a mutual friend of ours, Kirsten. Kirsten was part of Jen and Amber's college friend group. I knew Kirsten casually from a few classes we had taken together. Kirsten and I weren't close at all, and I hadn't seen her since graduation, but we reconnected at her wedding a couple of years ago. The wedding was just around the time Jen and I became exclusive, Jen and Amber were both bridesmaids, and Jen took me as her plus one. As far as I knew, Kirsten and Jen didn't interact much after the wedding, which I assumed was customary for married people to lose contact with unmarried friends. I messaged Kirsten on Saturday. I used the pretense that I was thinking of taking things to the next level with Jen, and that since she was the first person in the friend group who got married and that she knew Jen, she could give me some advice. What she said next stunned me. She said she didn't know Jen and I were a couple and hadn't spoken to Jen since the wedding. She also said we should meet for coffee so she could fill me in on some things in person but not tell Jen we were meeting. Holy fuck. We had coffee on Sunday. Wow. Just fucking wow. Here is what she told me, I've written this chronologically, so it makes more sense. 1. According to Kirsten, Jen was a virgin until her 21st birthday. As a joke Kirsten Amber and friends hired a male stripper for Jen's birthday celebration. To everyone's shock, Jen really liked the stripper, and she lost her virginity that night. 2. Jen got the stripper's phone number, and Kirsten said they met up with him a few times after the party for what Jen called a special private show. 
Jen was unabashedly proud of this. Freed Jen became more interested in dancers, and would suggest Magic Mike for movie night. Other times, she would comment on guys walking around campus, making comments about abs and biceps and saying, I bet he looks good in a fall. 4. Jen had a severe boyfriend after college and before we met that I didn't know about. According to Kirsten, their relationship ended when the boyfriend discovered Jen in bed with Yuppa Stripper. Jen had gone to a male review and hung out after the show. She managed to pick up one of the dancers and took him home. The BF moved out of town for work, so I had never heard of him. The friend group knew about this mess, and Kirsten figured Jen had learned her lesson. 6. At Kirsten's bachelorette party, where Jen and Amber were bridesmaids, Kirsten had explicitly told them, no strippers. Despite this request, Jen and Amber arranged for two strippers to show up, and all four of them ended up having a foursome. Kirsten was understandably furious with them, hijacking her bachelorette and blatantly disrespecting her. She ended the friendship with Jen and Amber, though she kept them at the wedding party because the wedding date was only a week away. She didn't want word of this to get out and overshadow the wedding. Looking back I remember the vibe of the wedding feeling off, and this was why. I could tell Kirsten was still rightfully very pissed about the whole situation, and said I deserve to know the truth. Over an hour I went from stunned to furious. I'll spare you the ugly details of Sunday evening, but I broke up with Jen and told her she has until the end of the week to move out. She was crying, screaming, begging, but at this point, I had enough and told her she could just fuck off and die. Among her excuses, she argued that there was nothing wrong with a woman liking attractive men, and that it was just a fantasy, no different from guys liking porn. It got her horny and I got the benefit of it. I was insecure, she really loved me, and saw a future together and this was something she could work through. Oh, she never slept with strippers after Kirsten's bachelorette. That debacle was early in our relationship and shouldn't count, but who the fuck knows. For now, Jen will be sleeping in the spare room, but I made it clear to her that this relationship is over. I will avoid her as much as I can until she moves out, I am not worried about her doing psycho shit, I think she knows I will go nuclear and tell her parents and family the whole story if she tries anything. Jen finished moving out on Saturday. No drama. I mostly avoided her. She made some attempts at reconciliation, but I think she knew it was hopeless. Some of you made helpful suggestions to protect me, but most weren't needed. I wasn't worried about her trashing the place. She's not crazy, she just got caught. She also knew that I would go nuclear if she tried any stunts. In all our years together, she had never seen me this pissed off hell, I had never seen me this pissed off. I wasn't worried about her trying to spin some story for sympathy. Our respective families live in different states, our friend circles, what's left of hers, don't overlap, and we work for other companies. So there was no one she could play the sympathy card with. Also, I wasn't worried about baby trapping, as I would never stick my dick in that again. Also, we are both well-paid IT professionals with plenty of disposable income and no desire to have kids. I spoke with Kirsten Jen's former friend to let her know what happened. One thing she said made me feel a bit better. She said that during and after college, Jen was pretty selective in who she dated, was not into the casual hookup culture, and probably hadn't been with more than five guys before me. With the apparent exception, she had a hobby of fucking strippers. And yes I know that sounds fucked up writing it. But she probably wasn't running around with a load of random hookups behind my back. So yes, I may have been naive, but I wasn't that naive. One of my friends said this whole thing reminded him of stories about men with loving wives and families, but who have some kink that can only be satisfied by hiring street hookers. Losing her virginity to a stripper may have done something to Jen's psyche that could only satisfy with some jacked dude with oiled muscles dancing in a farm. It's not my problem anymore. I'm doing as okay as I can in this situation. I'm not really depressed because I am still pissed off about the whole situation. At some point I may go to a strip club just to see what they are all about. Thank you for listening to today's story. Have a nice day.